Technology Tuesday, sponsored by Blue Layer Innovative Technology Solutions. So a Michigan man is tired of carrying around all his personal belongings, okay. so he just had a microchip implanted in his hand. And Ron is so on board with this. <laughs> it is very science fiction and Ron-like. He's transformed his hands into a digital key that can start his car and open his front door. Faraz Javed shows us just how far he's willing to go for this cutting edge technology. <laughs> From retro gold Jarvis. to dope tech. Play waterfall. In fact, when it comes to innovation, 41-year-old Brandon Delali is taking matters into his own hands. That's possible for Brandon, thanks to a microchip like this, implanted subdermally in his right hand. It's not just a Tesla key. You're able to have it be a secure crypto storage wallet. I can, at some point in the future, do credit card transactions off of it. The chip is about the size of a small paperclip. It has an LED at the top. It has a copper coil in the middle, which acts as the NFC antenna. And then below that is going to be the actual chip portion. For $100, a piercer implanted the $300 chip, which according to Brandon doesn't impact his day-to-day -day activities and people don't even notice it. I mean, if you were to come up and feel it. Like, oh, I yeah. can feel it. Yeah, right there. So this is your first one. That's my first one. And where is your second one? So the second one is between the third and fourth metacarpal right here. This isn't Brandon's first rodeo. The implant in his left hand opens the door to his home. And when needed, it also pulls up his medical records. So you can tap the chip light screen, shows it's connecting. So it would be able to tell you blood type, uh, it could tell you emergency contact information, and then you're able to pull up the COVID vax card from here too. The motivation behind the implant? To lead a life without having to carry keys and a wallet. People think I'm a little crazy and, you know, people now call me like a cyborg or something like that. What's your message to all the haters out there who don't agree with such a technology? This is something that I'm doing for me. It affects nobody else. I'm not saying this technology is for everybody. I'm saying in the future, you might start to see more of these things. 